Hi everyone, in this video we're going to discuss something called L'Hopital's Rule. So L'Hopital's Rule. And there's a couple of different spellings of L'Hopital's. One of them actually says hospitals, but it's not pronounced uh, hospitals rule, it's L'Hopital's Rule. So L'Hopital's Rule is a rule that helps you take limits. So first of all, there's something called an in determinate form. So an indeterminate form. I always think it's indeterminate, so you can't determine it. I'm pretty sure that's not why it's called that, um, but it makes sense. So it's an indeterminate form. So one of these forms is zero to the zero. These are forms that come up in limits. So for example, if you were taking the limit as x approaches 0 of x to the x, if you plugged in 0, you would get 0 to the 0. That's an indeterminate form. Another one would be, would be 0 over 0. Another one would be 1 to the infinity. All of these are indeterminate forms. Infinity minus infinity. You know, what could that possibly be? You know, infinity over infinity. 0 times infinity and infinity to the zero. So all of these are examples of indeterminate forms. So L'Hopital's rule will work when you have one of the following forms. Infinity over infinity or zero over zero. Now you can also have like uh, in negative infinity over infinity and infinity over negative infinity. So any of these uh, will allow you to use L'Hopital's rule. So what is L'Hopital's rule? Well, provided that everything else is okay, like there's no funky discontinuities, and we can differentiate the functions, it basically says if you have one of these forms above, and you take the limit, let's say as x approaches c, of f of x over g of x, if this produces one of these forms, so if this limit gives you uh, one of these forms up here in this box, what you can do is you can write the limit again, and you can put the c there, and then you just take the derivative. So it'd be f prime of x over g prime of x. Just like that. No quotient rule, just a straight up derivative. So this only works if you have one of these forms in the box above. So let's, let's do some examples so you see how this works. L'Hopital's rule is notoriously misused. It's one of those uh, rules that people tend to overuse because it's so awesome. It's such a good rule. Here's a simple example. Let's approach 0, and we have sine 2x over 3x. So this is a limit from calculus 1, which you may or may not remember. Uh, you would use uh, some other stuff in calc 1 to do this limit. However, using L'Hopital's rule, it's a little bit easier. So if you just take the zero and plug it in, you would get sine of zero over zero. So you get zero over zero. So we have uh, one of the forms. In fact, we have the second one here. That means we can use L'Hopital's rule. So what you do is you write the limit sign again, and you have your x and you're approaching zero, and then you just take the derivative. So the derivative of sine is cosine, but here it's sine 2x, so it's cosine of 2x times the derivative of the inside. The inside function is 2x, and so its derivative is 2. On the bottom, we take the derivative of 3x, that's just 3. So you see, all you do is just take the derivative of each piece, but it's really important to make sure that you have one of these forms. At this point, we can just plug in 0, there's no issue at all. So we drop the limit sign. So we get 2 cosine 0 over 3. Cosine of 0 is 1, so we get 2 times 1 over 3. So we simply get 2 thirds, right? No problem. So the power of L'Hopital's rule. Let's do another one. Limit. This time, this time let's go to infinity. x goes to infinity. And this one is specifically picked just to show you something um, interesting. x squared over e to the x. Okay, so in this case, if you were to plug in, plug in infinity, which you're not supposed to do, uh, you would get infinity over infinity. 
right? You get infinity squared and e to the infinity. So both approach infinity, right? x squared approaches infinity, e to the x approaches infinity. So you have infinity over infinity. So we can use L'Hopital's rule. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity. The derivative of x squared is 2x. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And we still have an infinity over infinity, right? 2x is going to approach infinity. e to the x is going to approach infinity. So you can do it again. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity. The derivative of 2x is 2. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. And we've reached a point where we can no longer use L'Hopital's rule. So now you just have to think about it. You have 2 over something getting really, 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 really big. So in this case, this is just 0, right? It's like 2 over something big, which is small. If you're not convinced of that, think of like 2 over 10. That's uh, 0.2. If you do 2 over 100, that's 0 0.02. If you do 2 over 1,000, that's 0 0.002. So the numbers get smaller uh, when the bottom of the fraction gets bigger. Now, I purposely picked this example here to make the point that you don't really need to show the work here because e to the x grows faster than x squared, so you know automatically it's going to be zero because exponentials grow faster than polynomials. So whether or not you use L'Hopital's rule in some of these problems is, is totally up to you. You know, if you know what the answer is and you're just doing this for yourself or you know, if, if you're taking a class and the teacher doesn't care, uh, just, just write the answer down. So let me give you a little chart or a little uh, thing, so useful thing, <laughs> that will help you uh, do most of these problems. So, so in general, for big X, so for big values of X, uh, we have the following. We have the following. We have, so what grows faster than most things? Uh, x to the x grows really fast. And that's bigger than um, x factorial. Okay, assuming we have integers here. And that's bigger than exponentials. So e to the x, 2 to the x, 3 to the x. And that's bigger than polynomials. So like x squared, x cubed. And that's bigger than logs. So like ln x. So this is a pretty useful table. Um, now, x factorial here is only defined for like you know um, integers, but in general, this tells you that x to the x grows faster than x factorial, which grows faster than exponentials, which grows faster than polynomials, which grows faster than logarithms. So using this, you could evaluate limits pretty easily. So say we had the limit as x approaches infinity, so x is big, of uh, let's say e to the x over x squared plus x. So you could use L'Hopital's rule, but you'll reach a point where it's no longer useful. So in this case, you see that e to the x is on top, and it grows faster than the polynomial on the bottom. So this limit is going to be infinity. Boom. No need to use L'Hopital's. Uh, here's another one. Limit x approaches infinity of ln x over x squared. In this case, you have ln x up top and x squared on the bottom. So x squared grows faster than ln x. So the bottom gets bigger, so this approach is 0. Again, no need to use uh, L'Hopital's. If you wanted to use L'Hopital's on these, you could. Let's do another one. Limit x approaches infinity. How about, um, how about this one? Uh, x over e to the 2x. So again, you have e to the 2x in the bottom. That grows faster than what's up top. So in this case, it's 0. So whether or not you use L'Hopital's is a matter of preference. It is a useful technique, though, and it is extremely powerful. For example, let's say you wanted to use L'Hopital's on this, on this one here. You could because it's infinity over infinity. So you would take the derivative. The derivative of the natural log is 1 over x. And the derivative of x squared is 2x, right, taking the derivative of each piece. At this point, you would rewrite this. This is the limit 
as x goes to infinity. And then it's 1 over x divided by 2x. That's really 1 over x times 1 over 2x, right? You multiply by the reciprocal whenever you divide. So this is the limit as x approaches infinity of 1 over 2x squared. And now we've reached a point where you can't really use L'Hopital's, so you have to go back to that thinking, the bottom is getting really, really big, so the fraction gets really, really small. But again, all of this can be avoided if you have this very useful thing which holds for big values of x. So that's it, that's L'Hopital's rule. So if you decide to use it, and again, uh, when you're approaching zero, you can't use this, right? This only works if you're approaching infinity. Um, the only indeterminate forms you can use L'Hopital's uh, with are the following, right? Right here, infinity over infinity, zero over zero, etc. And the problems that follow, you'll see tons of problems and tons of examples. And just always try to take the easiest possible route when you're doing the problem. Do the problem the easiest possible way. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.